The Animal Planet reality series Call of the Wild Man premiered in 2011 and was one of the network's biggest hits until it was suddenly canceled. But why did it end? That depends on who you ask. In a move away from strictly educational programming, Animal Planet produced the series in partnership with Sharp Entertainment, known for what's sometimes called guided reality, where show's producers interfere in what's ostensibly presented as real happenings in order to make things more dramatic or entertaining. The focus of the show was Ernie Turtleman Brown Jr., an adventurous outdoorsman from Kentucky, as he purportedly rescued wild animals from all sorts of hair-raising situations. How much of what Turtle Man did in the series was real or was staged, though, was called into question on several occasions. Still, when Call of the Wild Man was first canceled in Canada, Canadian Animal Planet Network executives said it was not because the show was faked, but because of poor ratings. Either explanation could be true, but there's another possibility and it's much darker. Shortly before the TV show's sudden cancellation, Mother Jones published an investigative report called Drugs, Death, Neglect behind the scenes at Animal Planet, suggesting there had been widespread animal abuse during the show's production, including the death of some animals. If these animals were somehow subjected to somebody's production schedule, somebody's convenient timeline, then that's wrong. Among other allegations, Mother Jones uncovered evidence that wild animals were caged and drugged during the show's production, in violation of federal law. Some animals presented in the series have been trapped before taping began, and then caught again by Brown Jr. while cameras rolled. There were also numerous issues with Wild Man's legal documentation in the state of Kentucky, and for all these reasons and more, a Wild Man production assistant, identified in the Mother Jones article as Jamie, said the series was 100% fake. Worst of all, though, the report claimed that some animals seen in the show were injured or killed while taping, and that was something Animal Planet viewers couldn't abide. This report came out after Season 3, and according to Mother Jones, ratings were strong up until that point. Still, the Canadian version of Animal Planet chose to pull the plug on the series. It turned out they had the right idea. In the U.S., the show continued for a fourth season, but following the damaging report from Mother Jones, viewers stayed away in droves and ratings fell to barely half their previous numbers before it was finally canceled for good. In response to the Mother Jones article, the show's production company, Sharp Entertainment, also held an interview with a crisis manager, experienced in dealing with similar high-profile controversies. In that interview, Dan Adler, a Sharp senior vice president, said, We've always made the humane treatment of animals our top priority. Show producers admitted some rescues were staged, but said the animals involved in the series were likely going to be euthanized, so in that sense, the series provided a service. They also said the allegations outlined in the article were under internal investigation, but there were external investigations as well. After Call of the Wild Man was canceled, the USDA ruled that the Animal Planet series had violated the Animal Welfare Act for displaying animals without the correct licensing. Though some producers on the series were fined as little as $1,800 for the violations, at least one producer was fined a whopping $180,000, among other financial penalties. Meanwhile, those involved in the series placed the blame for potential animal abuse on subcontractors. Animal mistreatment aside, in 2015, Brown Jr. and others involved in the production of the show were hit with a lawsuit that alleged trespassing and damage to property during series production. But despite all the fines and accusations, there was never any official statement from American Animal Planet executives regarding the show's abrupt U.S. cancellation. And as for the show's one-time star, Ernie Turtleman Brown Jr. has still continued to make live appearances based on the show's popularity, even if events like the Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Festival are a long, long way from the Hollywood spotlight he once thrived in. Still, there's one silver lining. At least with Bigfoot, you know up front that it's going to be faked and no yetis will be harmed in the making. I found them, I've seen them, two Bigfoots, 